Hey, what's up? Alright, so this video is about adding and subtracting with negative numbers. Uh, this is actually a topic that gives a lot of people a lot of confusion and it's easy to see why. So I'm going to um, try to illustrate with a few examples here um, a really good formula to systematically do every single one of these problems so you don't have to just guess, right? So uh, I'm going to draw a number line because I think that's actually really going to help us um, understand why we're doing what we're doing. So I'm going to draw a number line. Let's say that, um, let's say zero is like right here. Okay, so there's something very important to recognize about a number line, and that is a number line contains direction. Specifically, the right direction is plus, and the, ne and the left direction is negative or minus. So um, that's going to come into play when we, an when we um, deal with uh, adding and subtracting negative numbers. So I'm just going to throw an example out here, okay? Um, let's say we had 7 plus 3. Now, I realize this does not have negative numbers, but I'm going to use this to illustrate a point. Look at 7. 7 is the starting point. You want to think of it as the starting point. The plus sign is like the direction. You want to think of it as a direction. And 3 is the number steps. Okay, this is a very useful way to conceive of these sort of problems because the fact is it always works no matter what. So um, let's use this on three or I mean let's use this um, let's use this on three and seven here. So uh, we're starting at seven. Where's seven? It's like right here. Okay, so we w the way we want to read this is starting at seven we go to the right three steps. So starting at seven going to the right one two three steps so there we're, that's where we end up this is 10 all right no surprise there everybody knows 7 plus 3 is 10 but the reason I did this is because what happens now if we do a slightly more uh, confusing example such as uh, how about how about negative 2 minus um, 6 all right what do we do here so let's use this formula the starting point is negative 2. So we put the dot on negative 2. We put our pin here. The direction is negative. It's left. And the number of steps is 6. So we're starting at negative 2. We're going to go to the left for 6 steps. So starting at negative 2, go to the left for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps. Now, notice this is negative 8. It's a very, very common mistake to think that this is negative 4, or 4, or something like that, right? Because you see a 6 and a 2, and you go, oh, 4 and minus, right? No, it doesn't work that way. you got to follow the formula. The formula is what helps you avoid confusion. Okay, now there's one final point that I want to make about this. And that is, what happens if you have a situation where you have two signs that are right next to each other? So let me, um, let me just give an example of what that kind of scenario. So what if I had 4 minus a negative 1? Okay, I have a, if I have a minus and a minus that are next to each other, um, these two minuses are going to cancel out, and they're going to make a positive. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 plus 1, so it's equal to 5. So what did I do here? The point is, is that before you can apply this formula, you have to make sure that any two signs that are right next to each other get changed into a single sign. So, like, see how these were negative? They got canceled into a positive, so I'm going to consider this as just one big positive sign. So, um, that's basically it. Um, I would say that, especially if you have confusion with this, um, I would say please watch my video on um, uh, multiplying and dividing negative numbers if you're, con if you're at all confused, because that will, um, that will make it clear that there's definitely a difference between adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing, and it's very common to get them mixed up.